it's always nerve-wracking, I suppose, playing a, a character that already exists on celluloid and that someone else has, has played. And, and even more so when you're playing the, the grown-up version of that character. And, um, and you have to start thinking about the ways in which we grow up and what happens to us when we grow up. And, but I think in the end, what I did was, was look at the sort of spirit of those children in the, in the movie. And they're both such wonderful actors. They give such amazing performances. But I decided quite early on that if you, if I was going to get sort of hung up on the particular sort of facial quirks or, or physical characteristics of Jane in the original movie, I would sort of lose my mind and um, and and become oppressed by it rather than um, just use it as a sort of beginning point. Part of knocking them into shape, you know, on the one hand, very practically sort of helping in this magic way for us to come up with um, with the money to keep the house but in, on a deeper level, helping Michael to reconnect with what it is to be a child and his childhood sort of imagination and joy, which he's lost in the you know intervening years, um, particularly since his wife has died. And so you know that's her her task is to is to help us all find the child within us. I just think the music is extraordinary. I love it. I think that Mark and, and Scott have just done the most amazing job with the music because that is, boy, I mean, everything's a hard, you know, hard footsteps to follow, but those songs in, in the original movie are just sort of really imprinted in all of our m memories. And, and to me, they've just done it better than you could have ever hoped for. And I love the songs and they make me cry, you know, and they make me happy. And they're very funny and witty and moving. Emily Blunt is perfect for the role because she's a brilliant actress. Um, I really think she's she's sort of one of the greats. I mean, she's uh, an incredible performer and has such intelligence. It just comes so easily to her performing, um, whether she's singing or dancing or acting or what. She's just kind of got it. Also, she's particularly suited to this part there's something so great about watching her be Mary because she's not scared to be the kind of austere Mary and she's a daring performer so she's not scared to sort of not you know to not sugarcoat the character and make her at times quite formidable he's just got such perfect taste in the way that he approaches every decision that he makes about his performance. Um, he manages to give an, just the most artful, considered, deep, penetrating performance without being at all stuffy or full of himself or annoying. All the actors on this film that, that Rob has collected share that, that there's something so sort of yeah, un, unfull of themselves, you know, they're just really nice and uh, easygoing and not not showy offy at all. Um, but Ben is just, um, yeah, he's he's extraordinary. And I think um, it was, I mean, it was the best move Rob ever made, putting him in this film as Michael, and he's going to break everybody's heart. And again, a very fearless performance where he's not scared at times to be really kind of furious and and unpaternal and in in such a state that he's lost the ability to kind of connect with even even his children who he he loves but so there's something um yeah fearless and heartbreaking and his song is just going to have everyone just in pieces hey there here's today's daily fact that slightly scandalous charcoal drawing of a topless kate winslet in titanic was drawn by none other than the director himself james cameron now, if you want something done right, sometimes you just need to do it yourself. Now, remember to click here below to subscribe for more content or on the side to watch another video.